So this is just some brief shots of my RC car and Mini Z collection. So up here we've got the Kyosho Phantom on the left and the B2B from SD Racing in the middle there. If we move down, we've got a uh, G Made GOM that's actually got a bit of a s steering issue at the moment. A uh, screw came loose while I was out driving and I uh, need to get that repaired today. Um, down here you can see I've got a Kyosho Optima Riri. A uh, lot of fun. It's actually probably one of my first one tenths. It was my first one tenth RC scale car, um, just because I loved the body from the Mini Z buggies. And over here you can see in a very very similar paint scheme a um, EB410, um, which is a lot of fun and has a lot of tire wear. If we have a closer look, not so much on the back, but uh, it God does it eat up front tires. Um, down here we've got a. Traxxas UDR um, modified quite a bit and with a lot of grass on it as you can see this is definitely not a vehicle I would recommend to everyone uh, you have to do a lot of mods to make it capable and if you couldn't get it for at least a couple of hundred dollars off uh, the amount of upgrades is just going to eat into its final cost so let's go back up to the G-Made GOM and as you can see it's got the same red and black paint scheme um, so I've painted most of my cars in that exact same scheme and the uh, the UDR down here uh, Just happened to be in that scheme already. I've also got the the Fox body um, That I may install at a later date Now if we move on to the mini Z shelf, which I just set up yesterday uh, You can see the mini Z's up there, which is kind of cool two shelves and I've still got some more bodies beyond that But I uh, ran out of shelf space So I might need to pick up another one of these um, First off, I've got the T90 tank uh, this only came in the other day, and I've only just started putting the body accessories on it. Uh, that's been quite a bit of fun. Um, once again, not for everyone, and a lot better if you've got friends to play around with the, the tanks with. Um, but if you've got a lot of outdoor and muddy terrain, definitely a very fun vehicle. Um, down here is a bit of an interesting one. So as you can see, the front wheels are off, and the rear wheels are on, and there's a whole lot of parts in the back here. Uh, this is a P802 with the... Um, the Back that goes up and down so with the uh, the, t the dump tray um, I'm currently converting the motor originally over to a, a uh, 100 uh, 1800 kV motor uh, brushless uh, it does originally come as brush but uh, I'll actually be converting this over to a, um, a hobby tech quick run fusion um, because I've used that on the G made GOM that we saw earlier and it's an absolutely incredible device uh, the reason the wheels are off are because I upgraded the tyres. As you can see, the back one has a very, very soft foam. Uh, just with a bit more grip and a tiny bit wider. Um, apart from that, I won't be making too many more modifications to that. Um, although I'm looking into rear wheel drive steering on this vehicle as well. Um, that's the reason why this has been in this form for so long now. Back to the tank. As you can see, all metal upgrades on this. Uh, the only thing not metal is the chassis. And if we move on to the Mini Zs... Um, you can see that I've got the Suzuki and the Toyota. Um, I've got the Suzuki body in yellow as well, which is my daily runner for my heavily modified chassis with that's brushless. And I do have uh, the Jeep body as well. So you can see my 989. Um, that's got some middle upgrades. Honestly, I don't like the 989 as much as everyone else does. Yeah, it's cheap, but it requires so much work. It's just really not worth my time. Um, maybe when I've got some more free time I'll modify it a bit more uh, and it's currently not using any of my electronics or radio system so I've got to have a special transmitter for it which I really don't like um, of course that's my overland in the pink body with um, a very very specific four-wheel drive chassis um, if you look at my Dakar rally truck stuff it's the exact same chassis in a shorter wheelbase over here, of course, there's a Mercedes. Everyone's loving them at the moment. And of the McLaren F1 body, which... Um, well, actually, maybe this is the 12C model or something. I can never remember. Um, but this was one of the first bodies I've ever had. Uh, moving up, you'll see I've got a actual Halo Warthog body. Um, that's actually designed for the same chassis as the Overland. Um, it still needs a bit of prep work, but I will be able to swap them over. It's a perfect wheelbase and perfect height. Um, down here is, uh, I can't remember the exact same thing, oh, the, the exact model number, but this is my first Mini Z uh, body that I bought as a ready-to-run kit. 
And as you can see, it's got some silver highlights on the bottom that have just done some silver foil. And on the bonnet, they've just given it some stripes, which um, doesn't take much, but it completely changes how it looks. Like uh, I pulled it out of storage the other day and I was kind of surprised at just how awesome it is, especially with those wheels on. Um, as you can see there, we've got the front wheel drive body there on the, uh, the wrong wheels, but that doesn't matter. Um, limited edition uh, Lamborghini. Love that shiny body. Probably not coming through as well on camera, but uh, yeah, if we have the light, maybe not. Um, and then I grabbed one of these because everyone was raving about them. Um, I prefer the, uh, the McLarens, but um, this isn't a bad body. Uh, I actually ended up purchasing some other McLarens, so some other um, of the Audis later on. So I wouldn't have bought this body if I knew I was going to be doing that. And I've got hidden in the back here one of the Corvettes, which because it's dark, it's hard to see, but um, I wanted to have at least one of them. Now onto the more interesting section. Um, we've got a lot of rally cars here, <laughs> so. Another Lamborghini, because I decided I didn't want to bang up my limited edition um, one. Uh, I, here is a Porsche in the red, which is in one of the... It's kind of interesting, this chassis looks a lot better in real life than it does online, and I, I use this primarily as a drift car, uh, drift chassis. Uh, Celica in red, because the Rally Celica was very, very expensive, but then they did a re-release, and then I ended up purchasing one anyway. Um, very, very similar for the reasoning behind the body here. So I've got, I don't, oh, that actually might be the Evo. Um, and then they had the Subaru. Um, actually, I should have another Subaru somewhere else as well. Uh, but I want to have the Evo and the Subaru because I, I love both those chassis. Uh, now into my LM chassis. We've got my absolute favorite, the uh, 787B. Um, I love this livery uh, and it just pops in the, uh, the light. Um, I've actually got multiple of that bodies and a white body version of that. That's how much I love that chassis. Um, then this is one of the newer ones. Uh, this is the... I can't even remember what it is. Uh, this is one of the recent uh, LM releases. Um, that's actually a dark blue. It's incredibly hard to see even in real life. Um, got to dump a lot of light into it. Uh, it seems to be showing up as blue on camera, which is good. Like if you see the pictures online, you will typically see it looks very, very black. But yeah, as you can see, under very, very intense light, it's actually very, very dark blue. So once again, a very, very impressive body, very, very well polished. A uh, lot of detail on that one as well. Um, it doesn't look like it, but it's um, it really, really stands out in terms of the detail. I'd say it's more detailed than the 7879. And yeah, I also love the, uh, the wheels and hubs on the uh, 787. Um, I'd use them everywhere if I could actually buy them separately. Uh, down here we have just your standard, uh, I, once again I can't even remember the names but uh, most people will be familiar with this. I've also got the limited edition version in blue. I haven't, just put, I haven't put it over here because I don't have room for it yet. And then you can see I've got the limited edition um, Audi bodies from GL Racing. So I've got the military version which is kind of awesome. And then I've got their uh, J Fly Racing one which is also kind of awesome. And the detail on this is on par with the LMs I just showed you earlier, if not slightly better. Um, they're never going to be raced though. Um, I, I highly doubt I'll ever race them. So Now into the more interesting pile. Um, I have a Lancia Delta and a Lancia Stratos. Now I'm currently looking for a body for the Lancia Stratos. The, uh, the white, I don't know if it comes like that. It probably looks very, very white at your end, but at, at my end it's... More of a yellowish color, and I can't tell if that's just yellowing due to uh, UV. Um, the Lancia, however, is uh, in pretty good condition. Um, and my XV01 um, rally chassis, my one tenth scale, is actually based on the Lancia Delta as well. So, um, as I said, I do have some more models beyond this, but uh, there's just not enough room to display them all, and I really didn't want to put them on the bottom shelf either. So. I may have to get another shelf and then I will start putting the raw chassis there. So um, the BZ 2017, the BZ3, the original BZ, um, my Mini Z chassis um, in the various states they are in um, and that sort of thing. So look forward to that uh, video on that if I ever do that and uh, hope you enjoyed uh, the quick view of all my RC cars. 
Um, if you want to see more, just let me know. And uh, have a good afternoon and keep on building.